<laughs> let's get let's take one or two more callers. Go ahead. Hey man, if you say it's okay, if I say it's bad. Uh let's see. We have zero zero four five, you're up. Zero zero four five, you're up. Yo, what's up? What's up? Yo, can you hear me? Yo, we got you. Oh, so all right. Yo, what's going on, Fresh Pit? Yo, what's up, man? What's your question? What's up, man? <laughs> hey man, no, no much of a long time listener. Love the show. Uh, you know, obviously looking forward to y'all, you know, after show. Uh, I guess as far as what, you know, I guess debate at hand. Just, you know, for a fun one, you know what I'm saying? Uh, all right, Mari, so, like, I'm I'm married, you know, just a little background, you know, to give myself. You know, I'm married, <clears throat> have been, you know, with my wife for 15 years, we married for six, going on seven. Mm-hmm. Got two kids, beautiful children, right? Yeah. And one of the things you, uh, you had, you know, said to the women is, or you say, you know, it's not a man's job to, you know, please a woman, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm, it's like, then how could you expect a man to basically keep said woman if it's like, you know, if it's stroke game or any on point, you know what I'm saying? It's like, <laughs> you know, wouldn't that like, contra- you know, contradict yourself, you know, as far as like, you know, you want a girl, right? If these men want to pursue it, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah. I just ate some food, so you know what I'm saying? I'm all, you know, all amped up. But no, nah, but, <laughs> but, uh, no, I'm saying like, for a man to get his girl, or they go, they go on dates, you know, pay for the dinner, boom, whoop de whoop. Yeah. And then when it comes to like, you know, you know, they link up and say if the sex game is not on point, and let's say she tries to work work it out with him, you know, as far as like you know, to help her with that. Caller, 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 caller. I've always said that the man, if it's your main girl, you should, you should, you should do it. Right, right. Yes. And fair enough. Like. Now, and that's what I'm basically talking about. Like, not like you know, for fun these type shit. Like, like this your main girl. Like, it's going yeah. on like say a year. Right? So we agree then. So what's what's the question? So we agree. What's the question? So bro? my question is, is like, because like he often says, like I would say, well, you know, it's not a man's job to basically please a woman sexually. So yeah. it's a woman's duty a to do that. that I mean, the guy that. should still do it though. Like, uh, no, I'm uh, just saying in general. Okay, I'm just saying like in general. If a man has the ideology to be like, look, it's your job as a woman to please me. Yes. And so with all that being said, so if that could obviously turn his main girl off or even his wife off to the point to where if he's not trying to do things to satisfy her needs, then wouldn't that be one of the main reasons why, like, you know, uh, relationships don't last or marriage, marriage don't last? Also, like, granted, you got the financial shit, blah, 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 but on the sexual, you know, aspect, it's like, okay, if a man can't please his woman, then you know I never what, said what that, man. Yo, that. dude, dude, you're you're really complicating this, and th- this is the pro. See, this is the thing, man. Like, there's never nuance when I say things. Like, people don't exercise critical thinking skills. What I said was, is when you're in a relationship with a girl, it's her job to sexually satisfy you first. You're the fucking man, okay? Because here's the reality: as a man, you have to bring way more to the table to uh, make a woman happy than a woman has to bring to make you happy. We don't ask for much. Women ask for a lot. So therefore. Your sexual satisfaction is way more paramount than hers because you as a man can satisfy in other ways through your financial security, your masculinity, your protection, your security, your provisioning, all this stuff you could provide to her. But her, on the other hand, her sexuality is her main uh, asset. So if she doesn't give that to you, she's effectively useless. Okay. now with that all said, I still think if it's your main girl, you should strive to satisfy her. But you're throwing money into something that, I'm just saying, like, taking money out the equation. Bro. Like, yes, okay. Bro, bro. Are you not fucking listening to me right now? Are you not listening? Yo, yo. Be quiet and listen. Be quiet and listen. (laughs) Be quiet and listen, bro. That's the problem. You don't fucking listen, which is why we're even having this conversation in the first place. I told you very explicitly, I'm telling you the general parameters of it. However, I still think if you're with a girl and she's your main girl, you should strive to sexually satisfy her. However, okay, it is not your predominant duty. Her predominant duty is to satisfy you sexually. Your predominant duty is to protect her from getting killed and providing security and provisioning for her. Your duties are different. You providing sexuality to her and sexual satisfaction is at the bottom of the fucking totem pole because you providing for her security is more important. Who, on the other hand, shut the fuck up when I'm talking, man. (laughs) Holy shit. (laughs) Shut the fuck up when I'm talking, bro. God damn, y'all niggas is dense, bro. bro. Yo, shut up when I'm talking. You're so fucking dense, man. 
Okay? Because this is no. why I hate when you guys misinterpret you what the fuck I say into what you think it is, and then I try to explain to you what it really is. No, but no, no, no. shut no, the fuck up and listen, which is why we're having this conversation in the first place, man. <laughs> this shit is crazy, bro. This shit is fucking crazy. Okay? I just explained it to you. Your main duty as the man is to provide and protect. Her main duty is to give you sexual access. We are not the fucking same. The top of her total pole is to satisfy you sexually. The top of your total pole is to protect and provide for her. It's not the same, bro. That's all I'm saying. Caller, you got it now? So, so hold on. Can I get Andrew's point of view out of that? Sure. What? It's going to be pretty similar because it's in the Bible, if I'm not mistaken. Go ahead. Andrew, what you, what's your take? Yeah, so I just want to make sure I get this correct. You think that... Uh, men and women are equally yoked sexually and that a man should try to please his his wife? No, no. no I didn't say nothing about equal. No, I'm simply saying this. They're not man equal. Woman, wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. no, no, no hang not, on, hang on. I want to make sure I get this not, right. I'm not arguing about... No, no hang not, on, hang my, on, hang on. My, my, uh, let me just clarify. Oh, my. Let me just clarify. Okay. Are they equal right. when it comes to who needs to please who sexually? Are they equal... Yes. Uh, I mean, I mean, I'm not arguing who needs to do more. Well, but that's like, what the argument more. is. Yo, bro. Literally, that's what the argument is, which is why I'm still manning it. Bro. Nigga, you, yo, bro, you been smoking, bro? No. That, my question, hold on, let me, because let, my way on the whole rant, let, let, me, let me kind of back up so we can make sure we're on track. I'm simply asking, when it, when it comes down to sex, Mm-hmm. Myron says it's not a man's job to please his woman. God, no, he clarified not, that position money, twice. Bro, he just told you. That. I'm not talking about the priority duty. I'm talking about when a this, this is like a relationship question. Because, again, I'm just, this is just like a... Yeah, but he like clarified... Man listen, like, call her. Hang on. He, he clarified this. You're straw yeah. manning his position. It's frustrating to me. His clarification was literally, yes, you should if it's your... Uh, wife, main girl. or if it's your what he calls main girl, yes, you should. So if right. he says yes, you should. Right. If you say anything to argue other than yes, you should, then you're strawmanning the position. No, no, I there's no, no, no. no. That's like, a straw no, man. I didn't even disagree with him on that. Well, then there's no disagreement, the sir. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, this can't be real life. That <laughs> is. It's a joke, right? Like literally, he you literally went because I, I didn't even like make my whole my whole point or my whole clarification because he went on that whole rant. Like it wasn't about like <laughs> my nigga, yo, you know the regular like what a man would do bro. as far yo, yo, as like my nigga, my nigga, I said I got that. Rant, it's about what it. I, all my question, my only question was this. <laughs> it was simply look. All it boils down to, like, hey, if a man needs to please his woman, because he makes the argument that, hey, it's not a man's responsibility to please his woman. Okay, got that. But what it boils down to, like, you're hey, straw manning again. You know, you know you're straw manning again. I literally yeah. am in the studio and heard him clarify this <laughs> twice, and you keep doing the same straw right. man. See why I'm so frustrated? Oh, Stop straw manning God. the position. The position is from Myron. Just heard it twice. Yes, you should if it's your wife. Okay, do we agree then? Okay, do we have nothing to disagree on? on <laughs> That's that? what I just said. <laughs> There's no argument. Yeah, this is the reason niggas be in jail, my nigga. Oh, wait. No, YouTube. Never mind. Yo, you gonna rumble? Go back and listen. I promise you, I didn't say nothing after that. Nigga, you be tired, my nigga. Yo, we tired. Bro, yeah. that's the end of call, bro. Yo, call it. Thank you for calling, man. And then people, and then people <laughs> get mad at me when I fucking be yelling at this shit because it's like, bro, like, yo, I clarified it very clearly to it, let you know what it really is, bro. Like, you fucking guys always miss what I say, thing. man. You said this thing. Can you God, clarify? Damn, yes, here's bro. a clarification. But what about the thing you said? <laughs> you said I, well, wait, I just clarified it. Yeah, but what about the thing? You ask the question, you answer it. They said, no, no, give me more. Yeah. <laughs> like, for, for what do you want, bro? Massive straw, yo. man. It's Bro. frustrating. Yeah, let's move on. Uh, Chris, you ready, nigga? Nick Perry. Oh, no, bucks. he's giving them the rules. speech. <laughs> yeah. Nick Perry, 200 bucks. Uh, last four. Bro. And then uh, Nick Perry again. Yeah, we're just putting him on the line. Wow, yeah. Nick Perry, 400 bucks. You know, playing. That was the guy that was on the no, line? No, 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 200, 200. Yeah. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no just, oh, thank God. No. no. He's, he's, about to be, he's about to be right now. Okay. Uh, I, I got you. Um, right. So, zero six seven seven. that dude, bro. 
Yo, my, my fucking head hurts, man. <laughs> like, Yo, I'm convinced, bro. These niggas killed Kevin Samuels, bro. Must have been, must have been them. Talk to these niggas all day, bro. Yo, man. Just saying, bro. It's a stressful show. Shit crazy, bro. Shit crazy, man. <sighs> Damn. Wild. Zero right. six seven seven. You are up. Zero six seven seven. Hello. You are up. Yeah. What up? Yep. This is why sometimes we got to take yep, a break uh, when we talk to y'all uh, on the I'm phone gonna, lines, bro. I ain't gonna lie, man. You guys roast. It's just stressful, bro. God, I'm let you guys cook me a little bit. Right, so uh, I'm a when Destiny one does fan. It? Yeah, that, yo, this, honestly, real talk. This is a real. This is a big reason why most YouTubers never fucking take calls, man. Yeah, they don't. Cause you deal with idiots like that fucking last guy in the last line. Like, bro, holy shit! You know, I lost hair follicles talking to this nigga, man. Retarded. Stupid. <sighs> Sorry, bro. Go ahead. Hey, what's up? Yeah, no, no. So I'm a Destiny fan. So I'm I'm aware of BPF. I I know who this this gentleman is. Okay. Uh, I do enjoy your content. I think he, I think he's very entertaining. I just think he's wrong about a lot of stuff. I did want to talk with you guys. All right. What, what do you, do you think, think? What's what What's Andrew wrong about? Go your ahead. Biggest disagreement. Yeah. What do you think your biggest disagreement with uh, someone like Destiny is? I mean, obviously, besides the open relationship. That he's a fucking coomer. <laughs> <laughs> and coomers be cumin, man. So the thing is, is uh, yeah, that's why. Uh, honestly, um, it's not. It's not that he is a coomer, as much as he advocates for cooming. That's the. Um, that's... He's never advocated for cooming. He always specifically says he does not advocate his lifestyle for anybody. He said it on on. Then, okay, six. hang on, hang on. Let me let me kind of uh, give okay. you a little pushback here. You can say I don't advocate for X thing, and I can I agree that you can say that. But when you argue on behalf of X thing being okay, can you explain how that's not an advocation? I, uh, I'm not sure what you're referring to. You, if you, you if you argue, for... for instance, if you argue that prostitution is fine, if you argue that OnlyFans is fine, if you argue that these things are fine, how's that not an advocation of those things? Uh, in my, are you asking me or you? you yeah, want I'm asking me to, you. Yes. To give give you. Oh yeah, yeah, for me, for me, because I, I, I couldn't give less of a fuck about what you're doing. I'm doing what I'm doing. I don't care. Do what you do. What you want to do. Yeah, but that's not the question, sir. the The question back to you was, you you said to me, "Wait, Destiny's never advocated for those things." That's fair. Maybe he's never come no, out no, and said, no, no, "I no, think no, people no, should no, do I, this." I, but no, hang on, hang no, on. Let me finish. My, hold. Okay, okay. Let, let me finish. But if you're making arguments on behalf of those things and saying that those things are good in society and that that is the status quo that you'd like to see, I don't see how that's not advocating. I don't think he's ever said that's the status quo he wanted to see. I think he sp said the specific opposite. Okay, it's well, let's find out. Let's find out if this is true. Or, okay, let's find out if this is true or not. My is Destiny is crazy, against OnlyFans? I would fans. not advocate this for anybody. Is Destiny I'm against, sure he said those exact Okay, words. is Destiny against OnlyFans? Uh, no, I don't think he is. Okay, would he advocate then... That women be allowed to do OnlyFans works. Probably, yeah, he, probably he would be would advocating on behalf freedom? of sex yeah. work, bro. <laughs> I don't know when you say advocate. What do you when, what do you mean by advocate? He's dude. Do you do you really want to uh, make this definitional? I think you and I both know what advocate means. We well, only have a short say, amount of time no, no, on the call. I don't think it, but no, I don't, but if you're arguing, if you're arguing people that people should, other people can't do this, I can do this. But other people can't. Well, then you're making an you advocation that you it. want to see that inside of society, right? You want to at least see those things inside of society that people are allowed to do. Uh -huh. I would advocate against that. I would say I don't want people to be allowed to do these harmful things. So from my, per, from my perspective, he's advocating on behalf of degeneracy, and I'm advocating against it. Would you outlaw it? Yes. Immediately. Mm -hmm. Immediately. Immediately. So no, no more sex work ever. Ever. If I had the pen, I would say, you can't fucking do it ever again. <laughs> or else. Straight to jail. Myron, Myron and Fresh, do you guys feel the same way? Like with the girls being... Yeah, bro. I mean, it's, it's fucking, would, it's fucking would you, everything would you, up. Would you outlaw, would you outlaw any, any sex work? Pornography, all that shit, yeah. 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 From a moral standpoint, yes. Yeah, it's fucked up. From a silver standpoint, no. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, but morally, yes, I would. <laughs> Keep it real. Keep it real, bro. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah. I don't think. Yeah, I mean, I would say, yeah, get rid of that shit. Yeah. Now, D destiny. Like pornography the, destroys well, men. Well, now, listen, let me get. Let me, I, I let me extend say, an found, olive branch. Hang on. Let me extend found, an olive branch. I found you guys through through him, and uh, I think you guys are very entertaining. Uh, I'll continue to watch. Well, your let show. me let me extend um, an olive branch probably, real quick. I probably fall somewhere. Hang on, hang on. Calm down, caller, caller. Calm down for a second. Listen. 
the the Olive Branch extension is that Destiny is very good at arguing on behalf of his worldview, which is why it's fun to engage uh, in arguments with Destiny and with other skilled debaters, right? I, I can see that that's true. But you're really stretching it if you are going to try to convince me that he doesn't advocate for these things inside of society that he clearly argues for all the time. He may not tell you to go do them, but he obviously has no problem with people doing them. I do have a problem with people doing them, and so I advocate against that. I mean, bro, yeah, Destiny's argued with me about okay. this shit, can man, I, so he definitely advocates for it, man. Like, he's going on a pod. Watch the episode. Can, can, I, can, I, can, I yeah, can I give an olive, olive branch back and say I don't think he's explicitly advocating for them, but mm -hmm. by doing them himself and being a big creator, sure. I guess you could kind of say that's advocating for it. But I don't, I don't know. Well, if he argues on of behalf of the things, right? Heavily. So that's that. I, I mean, I would say that that is he wants to see a society where such things are completely available for people to do, and I want to see a society where they're not. And so, uh, it, it's clearly, we're both advocating a separate worldview. You would agree with that, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yes. I think of the opposite. So, the, so then, so then, yeah. perfect. So then, I would say that he's advocating for a society which promotes degeneracy, and that I am not. Okay, that was it. That's all, all right. I got. Appreciate the call, man. Thanks for calling, bro. All right, man. Thank you, guys. All right. Flawless victory. All right. Uh, we'll read, uh, what do we got here? And then we'll close this thing out. Um, e -G, it this was an entertaining show. Yeah, it was I lost some brain cells and hair falling, but it's okay. <laughs> we needed this video, though. Yeah, it God. was pretty funny. Yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Holy. The fucking Mo gets me every time, yeah. dude. <laughs> the Me Too movement started as the Do Domencrat? Demon, demon Rat. Oh, Demon Rat. That would uh, be Democrats. Oh, uh, yeah. Yusuf Lynch. Oh, okay. Rebecca Lattimore felt that on August 1st, 1898, delivered a speech asserting that given the inability of the church or a course to protect women from the ravening human beast, then I say Lynch. At the God damn. Nigga, what the fuck? Oh, wow. That's so, right? Okay. Uh, Mo, what do you think about the Big Show Fitness journey? I he believe. Lost, yeah. That was, he lost 100 pounds. That was nice. Thanks to Vince. Uh, how, what are you down now? 145. Good. Yeah, nice, okay. nice, nice, nice. Uh, can y'all get Arthur Kwan, Leon, base painting artist who was recently deplatformed on IG by... Oh, uh, man. Come uh, on. Oh, Myron, you follow him on X. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. Uh, I don't know about YouTube, though, bro. That would be rumble only, my friend. Uh, what do we got here? Um... Dominic Sino? It was one of the calls. Okay. That's why he said uh, Women shouldn't have children after 25. 25 children are enough. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was a terrible <laughs> dad joke, dude. <laughs> uh, Chinaman oh. Fit Overwatch Dream. I'm here for Chinaman and Fit Overwatch Rage. Oh, yeah, yeah. We be raging, bro. Uh, I asked all my guys I had close to me at the time, dress or jail, and they picked a dress. Do I need new friends and people around me? P.S. I really look up to you guys. Yeah, whatever, man. That's kind of... That's uh -huh. a strange question to ask, bro. <laughs> That's a really strange question. I get it, ask. though, but yeah, goddamn. Eugenia, I suspect both my daughter and wife now recognize you guys, LOL, because I watch you. Shout out to the Crucible. I know most men over time get tired of meaningless sex. I hope your boredom comes soon. Speak, oh yeah, that's the speak that, for yourself. Yeah, that's the dude that be. Yeah, yeah but no, yeah. no, I, I get what you're saying though. Yeah, I, hopefully it does come uh, soon. Brilliant pod, gentlemen. Andrew is a great addition. This episode has gems. Take notes. Looking forward to meeting at the live event. All right. Yes. Trevon Suki. Uh, yeah, guys, by the way, we have a live event. April 26th is going to be here in Miami, Florida, man. Yeah. It's going to be lit. Uh, 100 bucks is the general admission ticket, so you guys can literally get, it get in for 100 bucks, man. Because y'all are going to spend that money on a date for a chick that ain't going to suck your dick and anyway. by the way, most of them just sold, so there's a limited amount. So get in while you still can now. What the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> we just bought a lot. Uh, oh, link, shit. Is, link is pinned in the comments oh, and shit. down below. Okay. Uh, yeah, and just get in there. Um, and Andrew will be there as well. I'll be there, yeah. Yep. Okay, that's going to be lit. Yes, uh, bigger. GM, GM uh, the, so we got general admission. One more time. General admission. Upper. Level admission, uh -huh. and then we have VIP, which is the backstage with the guests, with us, meet and greet, pictures, everything. And that's and that's how, that's how uh, that how many spots are those? So we have fifty VIP, fifty VIPs, uh, two hundred upper tier, uh -huh. and three hundred general admission. General admission. So if you guys want VIP, where you actually want to hang out with us in the back and shit, yep. you need to get in now. How much yep. is that one? Five hundred. Okay. So you get a reception at the very beginning. Yep. You get pictures and, and meet, meet greet with the guests. Yep. And as well, pictures after the show. And you get to well. talk with us and get yep. you on the back of shit. So, yeah. Yep. And there's only 50 spots for that, guys. Yep. So 
Get in while you can, man. You guys um, should grab Sexton. Have Sexton come, so come over there, James Sexton. Oh, he's we fantastic. Should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I called him the other morning. Yeah, he can't wait to come on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we got to get him on. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah well, Where's he at, bro? Yeah, well, every time we schedule it, he has like a fucking trial yeah, and shit. Oh, well, he's, he's actually a practicing yeah, attorney. He's been, yeah, he's, he's been, really he's been bogged down, but uh, he t he literally told me when I, I talked to him yesterday, he's yeah. like, tell those guys can't wait to come on. Uh, reach out. I got his phone number for you. Okay. So yeah, yeah, yeah man. I mean, I know Fresh. Yeah, Fresh yeah. has talked to him, but like every time we schedule something, it's like he has a like a trial or some shit he's got to do. Working so because he's actually on like a lot of these fucking lawyers on YouTube. He actually practices and still. is litigating and he's in court. And he's shit. also still. he's also one of the best debaters that oh, I've nice. ever dealt with because okay. he's you know he's always in the courtroom. He's always debating. Of course, he has to. And we tangle all the time. We go at it all the time. Sure. And uh, yeah, he's uh, he's fantastic. Okay. And Andrew, where can I find you, brother? Uh, you can find me at the one and only Crucible on YouTube. You can also find me at thecrucible.video. Hope to see all of you go over there and become members if you want to see the backlog. Uh, please support this channel. It was very kind of them to have me on for two episodes. I know that that's not something they generally do, but they were kind enough while we were here the week to have me on twice. Really appreciate that 